Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube variety channel. Miss Linda C. Jones. I'm in my beautiful hometown of New Orleans, Louisiana, sitting out here with my nephew and godchild Ryan at the lakefront. And we are taking in vitamin D from the sun, enjoying watching people on the boats. And um, what would you call the lake right now? Choppy? It's very windy and choppy. Yeah, windy, choppy. And, uh, but it feels, it's like, it, it says it's, let me check the temperature. It says it's 86 right now, but it feels like 76. It does. It feels really amazing. And just to see everybody out living their lives, walking, running, um, sailing, taking in vitamin D, I think that one of the things that I've learned during this interesting time that we've been going through, Ryan, that all of us have been going through is just the importance of connectivity, of conversations, of um, being connected to people. It's such an important part of our health, of our immune system, as is vitamin D. You know, we're out taking in the sun, we're enjoying um, this wonderful breeze from Lake Pontchartrain we're and sprayed with water. we're getting sprayed with water. <laughs> just, just from literally probably 30, 30, 40 feet from the water. Yes. We're getting splashed. Yeah, I was sharing with uh, you a little bit earlier that this reminds me, although I have not heard that there's anything in the Gulf. We had something in the Gulf, what, last week? Yeah. So or no, this past Monday, I guess this past weekend. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like and sometimes even more when there's a tropical storm brewing, but I'm assuming you don't see anything, right? There's nothing on your phone indicating that we have a storm brewing? No, it's gonna be Sunday. It's gonna be sunny with a high of around between 85 and 90 until I leave. Wow. So good weather. Good weather. A low of around 75 at night. Good. So, I've noticed the weather in New Orleans is way more consistent than in Dallas. Really? In Dallas, it'll be 95 during the day, drop down to 60 at night, and the next day it's 80. But at nighttime, it's like 90. It's like weird. Dallas, or Texas weather changes a whole lot more than down here I've noticed. Really? Yeah, and we'll have, Dallas will have massive rainstorms that'll last like 30 minutes to an hour. Here, when it rains, it'll rain for like days on end. Yeah. And then finally it'll stop, but that's why it floods down here, is because it'll just rain. Well, there's that, and then there's our pumping system. Or literally, it's like a toilet bowl here. Yeah, well, no, it's not that. No, it's not, a not fish literally. Bowl. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, well, that was the way growing up, shout out to um, many of the meteorologists that I grew up with, but I remember like when a hurricane would be coming, they describe New Orleans as a fishbowl because we are surrounded by water and because we're below sea level so i'll never forget that image it was back in the days when you know they had a map and a marks a lot there were there was no um weather radar and i mean talk about impressive that these meteorologists could track the weather with a map and a marks a lot but um you know no doppler radar back then but you know the thing about it is when we would be in preparation for a hurricane. I remember being a little girl and the meteorologist said, New Orleans is like a fishbowl. So the reason that you have to be concerned if there is a torrential rain and hurricanes heading this way, there is the, you know, propensity, so to speak, or there's the possibility that the bowl could fill up because we're surrounded by water. Anything you want to share about great memories out here over the years? Picnics? Uh, just now realizing, I don't think I've ever been on a boat like much. I've been down in like the swamp area. Yeah. yeah. Down on the bayou. Go down there. Down yeah. there. Go you know, shrimp, shrimp boat. Because you went fishing. You used to yeah, go with, fishing. With Dustin. Yeah. And what about also, like, talk about when you and your dad um, did the four-wheeling. You guys were... were well, that was the spillway. The spillway. 
For those of our viewers who are not from the New Orleans area or the Louisiana area, tell everybody what the spillway is. Uh, it's an area for when the Mississippi River gets a little too high and starts threatening overflowing. They open up the spillway okay. and uh, trillions of gallons of water, quadrillions, quadrillions. <laughs> gallons of water go into the spillway and basically flood the spillway instead of flooding New Orleans. And then when the spillway gets a little too high, I don't know what they do. I guess they just continue. They just hope it doesn't flood. You know? Exactly. Just hope for the best, which there should be preventative measures in place considering, uh, you know, there's trillions of dollars in this, in this city and the historical buildings. But besides that, you know, Plus another Hurricane Katrina hits, I think we're good. Yeah. And usually the Mississippi River, when it starts, when it's getting close to flooding, it's not from rainfall, it's from snow melting up north. Yes. It's all the snow starts to melt, it has to go somewhere, so it goes down the Mississippi River. And so that's when our waters rise. Well, Ryan, thank you for sharing these reflections with me. On my YouTube variety channel, Miss Linda C. Jones, I am beyond ecstatic and happy that you're here. And just the fact that you're here, my dear nephew that I love so much, I'm sure just that factor alone, my immune system has gone up 10 million decibels. So thank you for my help because family is very important. Love you, Ryan. Bye, everybody. Talk to you guys later.